New details after NASA scrubbed today's launch of Artemis 1. Engineers say a fuel leak and then an engine problem caused them to call off the launch during final liftoff preparations this morning. It's a major disappointment for NASA and those who showed up to watch it in person. NBC's Chris Pallone is in Cape Canaveral for us with the latest. Disappointment certainly at NASA, but also disappointment here among the people who came out to Cape Canaveral to watched the launch of the first Artemis rocket. They came in the early morning hours by the thousands, waiting anxiously for this event. Some traveled from cities all across the country to watch this, and you could see the wave of disappointment wash over them when they learned that NASA had scrubbed the launch. It just goes to remind you, how tough space launches are. The first concern was the weather. It was supposed to be good at the beginning of the launch window and then getting worse throughout the day. But it started with lightning near the launch pad. That delayed fueling of the Artemis rocket. Then later on, NASA engineers discovered what they thought might be a crack in the rocket body in a flange or a seal. They later determined that that probably wasn't a big problem and wasn't enough to stop this launch. But then they discovered that engine number three of four engines on the rocket was not responding the way they wanted to to get it ready for launch. And so ultimately, NASA engineers decided that they could not get this rocket off the ground in the two hour window that they had allotted for today. So when will it happen? Well, the next opportunity comes Friday afternoon. They'll have a two hour window to launch then if the problem with the engine is resolved. If not, it could also go next Monday. Still waiting to hear from NASA about when exactly that will be. But crowds were eager to see this launch, which will one day send Americans to the moon once again. In Cape Canaveral, Florida, I'm Chris Pallone. Back to you.